Dick Martin and I were just uh, reminiscing about a friend, a mutual friend we yes. have. Old Mel Torm. Torm, yeah. <laughs> Mel Torme, yes. <laughs> have you been over to watch any of his movies lately? Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm going again Sunday. And he was over at my house last night watching a couple of oldies. And uh, it's a fun hobby. You, you, all you need for the is a is a nice uh, place to do it and a uh, projector and uh, a place to find some old films. We're fans of older films, classic films. And uh, in your collection, what is your most prized one? I would say uh, that I like the uh, old Bogarts, like Casablanca, The Big Sleep, Treasure of Sierra Madre. I'm a big Bogart fan. Yeah. Do you ever do Bogart? Ah, no, no. I, stay, <laughs> I leave that for Guy Marks. <laughs> But you have a very funny aunt. Have you heard from your aunt oh, lately? Yeah, constantly, constantly, and she's always in trouble. Always. And you know what? We didn't have her on once last year. I think we'll bring her back this year. Oh, you gotta have her. You gotta get <laughs> if her. If we back. all got in as much trouble as my aunt, we'd we'd be uh, busy. It, Dan now is back from that uh, voyage he yes. made across the seas. In his pea green boat. Yes, he was uh, 21 days, I believe it was, on the high seas in a 27-foot. Sloop, I think they call it. Boy, you know, that that takes a lot of nerve, I think. Well, nerve is one word for it. I'm, <laughs> I can think about four or five of them. <laughs> None of which we could, all of which we'd have to edit out, right? No, are, are you a, a boat buff? No, I don't like boats. Uh, I see no reason for them at all. I'd rather have a nice truck deliver things. I don't want any boats pulling up. I get very violently ill on boats. Seasick. Yes. But uh, they, it, there are two things that look like a lot of fun that I don't do. It's boating and skiing. Gee, they look like fun. You winter see, skiing? Yeah, you see pictures of these. Yeah, winter Everyone skiing. looks so good in their aunt, but I see uh, broken legs and a year off of work. Oh, it's no, a, that it's looks a lot like of work. Fun. I would think. It's a lot of work. I, I do ski, so. do and really? I, I enjoy it. How do you ski down where you are? Uh, well, we go about 700 miles. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I, I yeah. tell you, I miss Dallas. I, we used to play at the at the uh, Empire Room there a lot. That was fun. Yeah. Do you remember the first comedy fit that you ever did before an audience? Yes, yes. Uh, we did a thing called sound effects that we had uh, stolen from I don't remember who. Uh, it was... Uh, Milton Berle. Probably. <laughs> That'd probably. be a switch, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but it was uh, where Dan was uh, reading uh, a... Uh, Sam Spade, if you'll remember that, mm -hmm. uh, private eye type thing, and I was, uh, it was allegedly on radio, and I was doing all the sound effects. Well, naturally, he had me running up and down stairs and shooting guns, and the tag was, I remember that I, he had said, so I was hungry, so I ate some crackers. So I was eating crackers. He said, then I was in terrible trouble, so I whistled. <laughs> And of course, you can't whistle with crack. <laughs> it was really, it was, it was fun. Was but, it well uh, received? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> did you get any jobs? Off, yes, off the as a matter of fact, we did. Uh, and we didn't do that much longer because my health wouldn't have held up. But uh, we went on to less strenuous routines. What, what can we look forward to on Laugh In this season? We've got some, a uh, couple of new people that I were very happy to have. One was an original member of our cast, Larry Hovis who was on our special, and then he was on the first season. Uh, he then went to Hogan's Heroes, and uh, they just uh, went uh, for their last season. So we got Larry and Richard Dawson from Hogan's Heroes. And we got our old producer head writer back, uh, Paul Keyes, who has been busy in other fields, and he's back with us. We're very happy about that. And as a result of uh, having him back, uh, our first guest, is going to be Martha Mitchell. Oh, marvelous. <laughs> that oh, that is terrific. She's going to when do is that going to air? It'll all air September 13th. Oh, that's yeah. got to be it. She's going to get on the phone and to make a few phone calls. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing, Dick, because I just did an interview before I came out here with Joan Rivers. Ah. And I asked her, you know, what she thought of Martha Mitchell. And she thought, you know, she says, I want to be her agent. I want to get her six guys oh. and put her on the stage. Darn you know? right. She's, she has uh, uh, gone from non-entity to entity through a series of phone calls. And, and at least she has the courage of her convictions. Now, has she taped any of a chat? Or no, she'll do it uh, a week from, uh, well, she'll do it uh, on the 26th. Mm -hmm. She'll be out here to do them. And yeah, that'll be fun. 
So we are trying to get some different people. We've always tried to have different people on the show. We've had uh, Buckley, we, uh, you know, William oh, F. Buckley. Oh, that was classic. We that had classic. Gore Vidal. We had uh, uh, Truman Capote. We had ah, Billy Graham, uh, President Nixon. People that don't ordinarily do uh, comedy shows. That doesn't include Agnew, because he's always <laughs> doing comedy shows. <laughs> They're just under a different building. <laughs> now I'm going to hear from all the Agnew fans. Oh, They're just having I love fun. It. Don't take it seriously. <laughs> I love it. He's beautiful. I was on a show, uh, a dais with him once, and I, I said, I wouldn't dare get up here and compete with one of the great comics of all times. <laughs> he was funny. Yeah. Uh, do you, you play golf, don't yes. you? Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Not with him, though. I, I don't have enough insurance. <laughs> Dick, we want to wish you continued good luck with last year. It's been you. a real ball having this chance to talk with you today. Thank you very much. I, I'm just happy to be here.